welcome if you are new. So today I wanted to play around with some of the newer makeup items in my collection that I've acquired recently. Might not necessarily be new, but they're new to me. And so one of the items I wanted to play with today is this Beauty Bay Botanical Palette. Mine came last week, I think, or was it this weekend? I don't know. But it's one of their 20 color palettes, their newest one. And it's so pretty, it's so, so pretty. Let me show you guys up close. So this is what she looks like up close. As you can see, beautiful shimmers beautiful mattes it's not super duper deep and dark it's actually quite muted but i do love that beautiful eggplant purple and that gorgeous like foresty green to help me kind of create different looks i don't know i'm just i'm really excited to play with this so i want to go ahead and play with this and then i also have a couple of the nyx buttermilk blushes I think these have been out for a little while, but they're new to me and my collection. So I have um, Back and Butter, and I have Had Butter. <laughs> these names kind of interesting, but these are the two shades that I have, and they're basically the same color as the packaging. And I'm thinking that I'm going to end up playing with this one because I think this will probably be a better match for whatever eye look I come up with with this palette. And I also have the Buttermilk Bronzer from NYX. So I want to play with that as well. And then lastly, which is, you know, something that I want to play with that's new is this Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Stick. So this is um, the new lip gloss stick. One of them that she came out with. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Love it. So that's what the packaging looks like. It's beautiful. And the shade that I have, I believe is, yeah, it's Fenty Glow. So just the main uh, Fenty shade. So let me show you what this looks like. And my camera, it wants to focus on me and my face. So that's why it's giving me problems focusing, but it has the imprint as you can see but it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so i just want to kind of try that out and see how i like it in stick form because of course i love the regular fenty gloss bomb so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead clean up my eyebrows use some of my elf eyeshadow primer and we will jump into this palette no you know what what i want to do before i do that is i want to do some swatches because I really, really enjoy the Beauty Bay eyeshadow formula, but I do want to do some swatches of this palette. So let's go ahead and get our swatch on right quick, and then we'll jump into an eyelid. So I'm just going to go, you know, what is it, row by row. So this is the whole palette swatched and as you can see it is gorgeous this color story is super unique and just super pretty the shimmers the duochromes the different shifts and everything it's just gorgeous I mean this shimmer here is beautiful this I don't know if this is a duochrome a multi-chrome but it's gorgeous um yeah, it's just beautiful. I love the color mix here. So I'm really excited to figure out an eye look. So let me go ahead, stop yapping, put on some eyeshadow primer, get my eyebrows together and let's go. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I just cleaned up my brows a bit, added some of my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer and I'm ready to jump right on in. So I think I'm gonna start with this shade here and I'm gonna blow that out in my crease. Then I think I'm going to take this deep plum and this deep forest green and put that half on the back of my lid, half on the front of my lid, and then we will come back and discuss the shimmers.
Okay, you guys, so it's time for me to decide which of these gorgeous shimmers I wanna put in my halo eye. And this is really a tough one. This is really tough. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, oh. I'm thinking this one. Yeah, let's go with this one. And that is this one here, the one that looks kind of like a blue gray. Yeah, that is what this one, <laughs> this one is. Ciao. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I'm gonna use a little bit of my NYX glue, glitter glue. So I'm putting this glitter glue down first, just in the center of my eye. And now I'm going in with that gorgeous shimmer. Oh, that's pretty. Good choice, you guys, good choice. If you picked one of the other ones, that would have been a good choice as well, but I'm feeling this one right now. <laughs> this one is really, really pretty. How is Beauty Base selling palettes with shimmers like this, duochromes and multi-chromes and things like that, and for $20, $20, like $15, it's like, And you know, indie brands at this point, shoot, you may as well say them palettes is costing close to $100 when you get to taxes and shipping and all that other stuff. You know, the discount codes are cute and all, but baby, I'm tired of having to pay a whole big face for an eyeshadow palette for some pretty shadows, okay? When Beauty Bay is out here doing the dang thing. I mean, I'm taking this shimmer all the way up because <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, oh, she pretty. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, you know, clean up my eyes a bit, add some eyeliner, mascara. I don't even know if I'm doing lashes today because I do have a mascara that I wanna play with which is this uh, Essence Lash Without Limits Mascara. So I might just test this out without any falsies today, but we'll see how I feel. So let me go ahead, clean up my eyes, do my base, and we'll come back and play with the blush and the bronzer. Okay, you guys, your girl is back. As you can see, I pretty much finished up my eyes except for the mascara that we're gonna be trying out today. I do need to line my lips so I can put on the Fenty, what is this thing called? The Gloss Bomb Stick. But I did wanna let you guys know that I did go in my inner corner with the bright green shimmer from the palette and the dark kind of blue green. Okay, so I went in the inner corner with this one and my lower lash line with this. And I did line my lower lash line with one of my ColourPop pencils, and this one is called A Glow. So I wanted to go ahead and bring in a little bit more of the green aspect since this is a botanical look for a botanical palette, okay? So let's see, let's go ahead and try out the lipstick first because I wanna get something on these lips. They looking kinda crusty. <laughs> so I'm going in with my favorite Sephora lip pencil. Uh, what is this? Is this espresso or molasses? I can never remember. Anyway, it's just pretty dark brown lip liner. I love this lip liner. It's like it glides on. You don't have to sharpen it and it stays in place. It doesn't go it all over the place, you know, all over your face and stuff. So yeah, this is Sephora. And child, let me, before I tell y'all the wrong, uh, <laughs> the wrong name, it's molasses. I don't know, I have something in espresso. I don't know what it is, but it's the shade molasses from Sephora. Love that. Okay, so let's check out this Fenty Gloss Balm stick. Okay, why I put it back in the box, I do not know, child, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and try her out. She's so pretty. It just fascinates me, the idea of a gloss in stick form. I mean, I know it's not anything new, but 
Ooh, she feels good. Mm. Oh yeah, she feels really good. It's one of those products where it's like, once you start rubbing it on your lips, you don't want to stop because it feels so good. Oh, but that's definitely enough. I mean, it's just like, yeah, it feels very nice. Very comfortable and I'm feeling it. Okay, so I like it. Not that I didn't think that I would, but I like it a lot. Okay, so we still have bronzer and blush before this mascara. So let's do the bronzer, which is I'm kind of concerned about because she's looking a little chocolatey. Um, so this is called Butter Than You. And it's from the NYX Butter Line. Butter Melt Line. And yeah, she's looking pretty chocolatey. Oh, you know what? A brush. I bought one of their bronzer brushes specifically for this. So let me grab that. I almost forgot. Child, I'm surprised I remembered. Because I bought this from Ulta when I bought the uh, bronzer. But it's been so long now. It's been a while since I bought this. So let me open this up and I can use this show you guys this brush. Okay, so this is what the bronzer brush looks like. I do not remember how much I paid for it. I'm sorry, you guys. But I did grab it from Ulta. And, you know, it was right next to the bronzer. So, oh, and she's very pigmented. I just tapped some of this on my hand and I'm glad I did. Because usually I just go in on my face. And I'm not so necessarily so sure that this would be the type of brush that I would use for this, but since it came, you know, there, oh, <laughs> there's the pigment. <laughs> but since they came out with, you know, a new brush to use with the bronzer, I'm like, you know what? Maybe the way that they designed it, it helps to blend it out better or something. So let me go ahead and try it. Yeah, this bronzer, the shade of it for me, honestly, it can double as like a bronzer and a blush because this has like that type of coloring to it, you know? It's really pretty. I like it, but it is very pigmented. I am definitely putting it on my hand a little bit before I go in on my face because child, it is pigmented. And I'm not that happy with my base today anyway, so I ain't trying to be unhappy with my base and my bronzer, okay? I have a feeling that the blush is going to be very nice, pigmented. I don't anticipate having any issues with the blush, but, you know, with bronzer, you definitely can go wrong if you do too much right off the bat, so... I would suggest trying it out on your hand a little bit first, <laughs> unless, you know, unless you don't care, but I do, <laughs> and it's probably a minor, <laughs> Ciao. that song is bumping, okay, I really would hate to be Drake right now, because when I tell you for a diss song about you to just be going ham on the charts and just being played everywhere you go. <laughs> Especially on the West Coast, okay? Y'all know I'm from the West Coast, okay? So when that song come on, honey, it's time to party. It is time to party. I love West Coast rappers, West Coast, you know, music, all of that. I'm here for it, okay? And Kendrick... Honey, when I tell you he put his foot on Drake's neck and did not take it off, <laughs> like, for a whole span of a song, child, that foot was on that neck. <laughs> it's like, I could not listen to that without being like, dang. So, yeah, if I was Drake, and then, you know, Taraji gonna open up the, what was it, the BET Awards with the, with the, the beat, okay? Taraji on the beat, ho. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, I ain't never had no problem with Drake or whatever, but I guess he picked the wrong one, honey, because Kendrick is not playing with him. 
He's not playing with him, okay? And that song is a bop. Anyway, this bronzer is looking nice. Tell me what y'all think. I like it, okay? Mm-hmm. It looks good. It looks good. It's blending out beautifully. I like it, okay? I like it a lot. I was concerned, but no. Uh-uh. I like it. Definitely, though, make sure you kind of go lightly. So this is called Butter Than You. If you like to get like the same type of, um, how can I say, shades that I do, that one is Butter Than You. So which blush, you guys? I'm kind of thinking I might go ahead with the peachy one. You know, it's summertime. Sun's out, fun's out, bun's out. Let me be consistent. I'm going to go ahead and use this one because this color is a better match for what I'm doing. So this one is the Back and Butter blush. And honestly, I feel like you can use this for the blush as well. It's really a nice brush. I actually really like that. I think it is kind of perfect for the bronzer because it worked out nicely. So this is the shade that we're going in with for the blush. Let me grab me a blush brush. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 107. I don't grab for my, is that 107? Y'all know what, child. I don't grab for my BK Beauties a lot, but you know, they right here in front of me. So I don't have no problem with them. I just, you know how you have your favorite brushes that you always reach for, so. <sighs> yeah, she pigmented too, child. She pigmented too, so. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. But I'm not scared of blush though, honey. I will blush, blush my life away, okay? And, but sometimes I get going and it's like, you know, I look up and I'm like, whoo! Don't even realize it. It done got out of hand, child. It done got out of hand, okay? As y'all can see, I had uh, some coffee. So your girl got her energy on and popping today, okay? I was like, you know what, let me hang out with my my folks, the KK Swalk Squad. Let's hang out with the KK Squad, okay? Today, try out some products. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's blushing. It's doing what it's supposed to have did. Blend that out with a little more bronzer, okay? But yeah, it's, it's definitely doing what it's supposed to do. Ooh, let me chill out. Yeah. Yeah. Just add a little bit for that sunburnt look. But I really want you guys to get an idea of how pigmented this blush is and how it blends. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. These blushes are really, really nice. Okay. So now... I'm just going in with my powder brush just to kind of bring everything together a little bit. Make me look a little less clownish. And I haven't even done my highlight. I'm not trying no new highlight. I've already used this Moira. This Moira highlighter, I've already used it, but I'm gonna go in with it. Ah, it's not a highlighter. This is actually a Sun Glow Face and Body Bronzer from Moira, but of course, Y'all can see I'm going to be using it as a highlighter. So, so far we are three for three. The Fenty Lip Bomb, the Bronzer Bomb, the Blush Bomb. All we have to do is try out the mascara, but let me get this highlighter on right quick. So I'm just gonna use this Ulta Tapered Highlighting Brush to add some of this, a little bit of glow to my face. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so last but not least, let's go in with this Essence Lash Without Limits Mascara.
Okay, guys, so you guys have to let me know what you think because at that distance, I can't really see very well, <laughs> but up close, I feel like it is a nice mascara. Now, I like the thick, you know, like um, clumpy look for my lashes. I like them to look as full and, you know, as long as possible. So I did go in with, I think, like three coats of this Essence mascara and I actually like it. I'm used to wearing falsies, so, you know, it's it can only do so much for me. But I think if you, and plus I don't have long lashes at all. I got like little baby lashes. So, um, yeah, y'all have to let me know <clears throat> what you think, what you see. If you uh, feel like it's giving, I don't need no falsies. I don't know. But with an eye look like this, most likely I'm still going to put on some falsies. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's decent enough. For sure, I definitely love the applicator. That's my favorite type of applicator is the little short, you know, prickly one for my lower lashes because I feel like it just gets them the best and it works. So yeah, I would say it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. I mean, I'm, I'm loving the way my eyes look with it on without any falsies. So no complaints here. Okay, you guys, so that is it for our makeup playtime today. I really like this palette. I really do. I mean, it's a first impression, but I'm pretty familiar with Beauty Bay Shadows and the duo chromes and stuff that they have in here are just absolutely gorgeous. The mattes are beautiful, blended out perfectly fine, nicely pigmented as you can see for what, 15, 20 bucks? You cannot beat it. It's gorgeous. I love this color story. Um, the blush and the bronzer, you guys already know. Y'all could tell when I was putting it on that I'm really feeling it. I love, I like, I really like the bronzer. I mean, the blush is gorgeous, but the bronzer is like, is hidden, okay? And of course, the Fenty lip gloss. I mean, I've been talking a little bit. It feels fine. It feels very comfortable. Um, I will try it without a lip liner as well, but you know, for this bold eye, I felt like I needed some color on my lips, but... I had a good time today, honey. I really, really like this look. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys got this palette or you're thinking about grabbing it or whatever, you know, is is definitely not a need. But when it comes to um, more unique color stories like this one, I love it. I say if you love this type of stuff for the price, you can't beat it. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a good time. And, you know, just sit down, play in your makeup, have fun, you know, who cares? It wipes off, right? So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and that'll do it. Toodles!